Hello, this is Trevor Sheridan from AppleAndApps.com, and today we get a look at the brand new iBooks 2 that was unveiled yesterday at Apple's education event. The first book is Life on Earth by E.O. Wilson, and this book is a great example of what iBooks 2 can do, as it's just as powerful as any standalone app in the App Store that happens to be a book, and this is a textbook that really revolutionizes what you expect from a textbook. Beginning from chapter one about cells and molecules to chapter two on ecology because only two chapters for now we're talking just an amazing book where every single page is loaded with interactive elements you can start at the beginning chapter and then flip through the bottom for all the pages for the chapter and then pinch on any page to see it full screen and the same goes for interactive elements within the page that you can hopefully see as we're talking right here in the background in the video you just pinch out, you get the item. And then also videos, some interactive elements, and images can be used within the page or taken full screen with another pinching action. It's really amazing to see and flow under your fingertips. And it's no wonder why Apple was so excited about this event when they knew what type of technology they built just right into iBooks without needing a special app. And this is all based on an EPUB 3 HTML5 mashup format that is also capable of being made with Apple's new iBooks author program which we'll show a little bit later. It's great to play the embedded items within the page or completely full screen on the iPad and it seems each page there's always something to explore along with the text and it makes that text that much more interesting because you have the interactive element right next to it. This is the type of experience that makes me want to go back to school just to be able to use these books and my only hope is that more and more books will take over this iBook 2 format and really t take textbooks to the next level and learning to the next level in as any way that is possible. Beyond the biology book or life on earth there's a physics book and a few other subjects from McGraw-Hill and it's the same type of style though not as in-depth as Life on Earth. Same though pinch in and out gestures and it's such smooth and effortless nature. Beyond the setup of the book there's other interactive features including the ability to highlight anything and take notes right there within the textbook on the pages and you don't have to worry about ruining your book and then there's also interactive quizzes allowing you to take the quiz and check your answers right then and there as you can see right here in the video. The physics book right here that we're looking at is only $14.99 for the entire book that will fill so many different schools across the country's needs for high school physics and the same goes for geometry and bio biology and chemistry again with the note-taking interface, the quizzes interactive features on each page. It's just an engaging nature and hopefully there's some way school budgets and Apple can have bulk discounts to get iPads into the hands of as many kids as possible. Once you have some notes taken you can create study cards of your notes and you get to see your note on the front and then you try to remember what your note was and you can see reveal it just by tapping and you have a complete list of all your notes. Beyond the horizontal view there's also a portrait view where you can have one long page of the entire chapter just scroll through effortlessly. And that's iBooks 2. Hope you enjoyed watching Apple and Apps.